What's going on everyone, Games with Kelvin here, back with another Sinnoh Alice video. And on today's video, I'll be going over how to level up, how to get stronger so you can have a productive account in the game. So here's the method I go about when it comes to powering up. In Sinnoh Alice, it all comes down to points. The higher your points are, the stronger you are. And also, there's going to be certain difficulty levels that you can't even access without having a certain amount of points. So you want to make sure you're doing your best to increase it. And there are some ways to go about that. The best way to increase your power and points is to make sure that you're constantly improving all your equipment. That's going to include your weapons, your armor, and your nightmare. So you want to make sure that you have your best available weapons equipped and then start working on those. The best way to do that is just come over here, click on recommend, then I'm going to click on strongest, go ahead and click OK. And what this is going to do, this is going to attach your best equipment based on point value. Now from here, you want to make sure you click on your sub gear and click on recommend as well. And what that's going to do is that's going to equip the best of the best that's left. And it doesn't matter what the class is, so you can be a DPS and have all instruments or whatever it might be depending on what your best weapon that's available that's still left but we're gonna go ahead and look at the main gear because this is gonna be the grid that we're working on the most you always want to make sure you're investing in your main grid so the first thing you want to do to get the most amount of points is going to be to increase your weapons and by doing that you want to level them up and you want to level them all up together you don't want to do just your SRs you want to make sure you're leveling all your equipment up together that is on your grid and the best place to do this is going to be your gorilla event. These are six times a day, 30 minute increment. In the description, I'll go ahead and leave a link to a great website that tells you all the gorilla and conquest times. But again, you want to go ahead and make sure you level up everything to its max level. And then and only then, once you have everything leveled up together, then you should start focusing on evolving. In order to evolve, you're going to go ahead and come to this upgrade button. Then we're going to click on evolve gear. And from here, you're going to then just pick your base on what you want to evolve if, you, if you're able to. And from here, what you're going to do is then make sure that you have the material needed to evolve your equipment. Pay attention, there is going to be a hefty price as well. But with the materials, you're going to want to evolve those. And the best place to farm those is going to be, we're going to come down to story mode. Then on event. We're going to come down to the Evolution Mysteries. With the Evolution Mystery, that's going to be an element dungeon that you can run to get the materials for whatever you need in regards to weapons. There is one when it comes to armor, but we're talking about weapons right now, so we're going to focus on that. Now with these, you can go ahead and refresh your stamina as you go or use your drop 2. I personally don't waste my drop 2 on these dungeons is because they run all day but when it comes to your xp dungeons yeah definitely use your times two on that the drop down so go ahead collect your materials and then after that we're going to come back to the screen go ahead come to that evolve and make sure that you press the button and then what it, once again what's what this is going to do is it's going to increase the rarity of your weapon so now you'll go from sr to l do note that these are the these are the highest level you can go as far as weapon rarity. So once you do that, the level will then reset back to one and then you're just gonna go through the same process again. Make sure to come to your grid, make sure that you're properly leveling up everything that you can. And that's going to be how you increase your power the fastest. And you wanna make sure you're doing this for your armor and your nightmare. I will say when it comes to armor, it cannot be limit broken. However, armor can still evolve, but I will say with your starter set of armor, only level it up to, to tier level A. They start at B, level them up to A. In future banners, there's going to be much better gear that will be worth investing in. So when it comes to your armor, just for the starter pack that you get, only level them up to A. Nightmares, you definitely want to make sure that you're investing in those, but the main thing you want to concentrate are your weapons because that again is going to be the biggest amount of points that you will be able to get. So now that you finally leveled up and evolved everything as far as you can, now the next question is you probably hit a wall so you're trying to figure out what can I do to keep on increasing. And there are many things that you can do, some which could cost gems, others that might not. 
but I'm gonna list those to you and you can decide which ones you want to do but all these will help in increasing your power and points fast and efficiently the first thing you want to look at is are you able to limit break when you limit break weapons that's when you're gonna be feeding duplicates into your weapon and what this will do this will break the level the level cap pushing the level cap higher so as you can see right here my L rarities end at 80 but you can limit break them and all weapons can be limit broken four times each time adding an additional five level so you can see depending on the rare team where it stops at your items can get stronger that's gonna be your best way and of course the only way to get duplicates at this time is through the gotcha so that's gonna be in the grimoire section and with this being said some people might be against this because they don't want to waste all their gems pulling or they might have only pulled once and they're like I'm not pulling anymore until the next banner so if you've reached the wall as far as or done as much as you can when it comes to leveling up your equipment the next thing you can do to push a level is by upgrading your class now when you upgrade your class this is going to give you stats that pertain to the character and then stats that go on to your overall level anything that reads common will be applied to your account so therefore when I level these up I'm gonna get magical defense plus 50 HP plus 50 another magical defense plus 50 and the way to see how these are applied is it's gonna go to your overall points because it's increasing your overall stats therefore these stats right here will be going up anytime I unlock a common level for a character so this is why people are always saying more jobs equal more stats so definitely don't sleep on when you get a job and the way how I like to upgrade let me go ahead and go back to my job just to show you now you don't have to do it like this but the way how I like to progress is when I'm leveling up classes I always level them up in series I'll get them to level 4 because that includes common classes then I will get them to level 6 then I will go to level 8 and then once I have everyone at 8 then I'll start filling out the 10s and this will kind of show you what I'm talking about right here as you can see I practice what I preach they're all at level 8 so now I'm just taking each character and pushing them to level 10 and the way how you get that is you're gonna need to farm SP points and you farm SP points by either using your SP in battle or you can have books of opportunity of different levels that give out SP but definitely this is why I'm a proponent of manual over auto so that we can get more inputs in to therefore get more chances of attaining SP another way that I like to increase my power level is by doing the following also make sure you're leveling up as you level up your cost will increase therefore giving you the opportunity to equip more weapons the more weapons you have the more opportunities you have to have more points so make sure that you're increasing your level that's what I said that's gonna go hand in hand with farming your class mastery another thing that we didn't talk about much but I do want to touch on let me go ahead and click on my upgrade button you're gonna click upgrade gear another thing that you can do is work on your skills for your weapon now this is gonna be something you're gonna start doing towards the end after you've already powered up everything but basically the way to increase your weapon skills are going to be able to follow either using fodder equipment which will give you medals for that or you can use these skill orbs to power up and you have three skills you're going to have your story and your coliseum skill now do know as you increase your skill that will actually increase your damage output so you definitely want to look at that that's going to be another way that you can increase it so make sure that you're powering up those skills and that's going to be another way. Alright, so far I've gone over different ways that you can increase your points using free to play methods. But if you don't mind spending money in the game, some other great options is going to be buying any special packs that come out during special summoning events. The reason for this is going to be you're going to get gems as well as you're going to get material needed to probably power up your equipment or your nightmares or anything to that extent so always look out always be on the lookout for stuff like that also the next thing that we want to look at is going to be on my screen right here you see a crown when I click on that that represents the royal user service when you buy this you're gonna get some initial gems you're gonna get royal medals as well as the three blessing islands which is the XP the coin and the drop files 
as well as it's going to reduce your cooldown time for your purification. This is huge if you're a grinder because of the fact that now you can refresh using purification more often. Therefore, that's less gems you have to use while farming. You also get an increase in daily friendship medals from 3 to 5. And you get skip tickets. So therefore, when you get to those last 2 minutes of a gorilla event, you can go ahead and you finish out using your skip tickets to save you some time. But the thing I really love about this is the friendship medal increase as well as the royal medal. Both of those are going to be included in the metal exchange shop which also offers some SRs. Therefore you can use those SRs to replace your S's once again having stronger weapons therefore getting yourself more points. So those are going to be some of my favorite ways I like to increase my points fast. Definitely can be done from free to play method. You don't just have to be spending money in the shop. There's definitely ways. Gems are all around us. You can definitely farm those. I'll have a guide on some of the best ways to farm gems as well. But if you want to see more guides just like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave me a like. Go ahead and leave a comment letting me know which method you currently use or how strong you currently are right now. I love to see how everyone's progressing in the game. And if you'd like to see more guides like this, don't forget, come to Games with Kelvin here, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.